Find even more drawing tips inside the Pages of the Phoenix comic, along with great stories and more. We've already covered how to draw cats in a previous tutorial, and some of the basic principles here are the same. However, unlike cats, dogs come in all shapes and sizes, which at first might make them sound more difficult to draw. But if you can draw one type of dog, you can draw them all with just a few simple tweaks of the basic building blocks. Building blocks are a series of basic shapes we use to construct a set of guides from which to create our final drawing. We're going to start things off by drawing the head of a friendly looking Labrador. Start by drawing a circle as the foundation of your building blocks. Now add a stubby triangular shape for the snout and a similar shape for the ears. Add a neck and then centre lines for the eyes and the nose. Now let's move on to the final drawing. Because I work on a computer, I'm going to turn the opacity down on my guides to make them fainter and then create a new layer for my final lines. If you're using pencil and paper, then either draw your guides really lightly and erase them afterwards or overlay a second piece of paper on top of your guides and draw over them to save rubbing out. Start with the brow and the snout and then draw in the nose. See how I'm not just tracing over my guides with this line just beneath the nose. Add a gentle smile to your Labrador's mouth and then draw in the chin. Move on to the ears and then draw in the eyes, which aren't dissimilar to human eyes in the way they're constructed. Add some dots between the nose and the mouth. Finish things off with a collar. There are so many different breeds of dogs with completely different builds, but whether you're drawing a Labrador, a Westie, an Alsatian or a French Bulldog, the basic building blocks are always the same. You just need to tweak the size and proportions. Now let's move on to drawing the whole body. Again, starting with a solid set of building blocks. Start with the head, and then draw a peanut shape for the body. Use connected ovals to build up the legs, remembering that the hind legs bend inwards. Now move on to your final drawing. Again, try not to just trace over your guides. When drawing different breeds, keep your building blocks the same, just change the proportions. So a Westie has a rounder body and shorter legs. A French Bulldog has a larger head, and a Sausage Dog has tiny legs and a really long body. And before you go, just a final tip about drawing different kinds of fur using a variety of brush strokes. For a dog like a Labrador with short, coarse hair, you can get away with just using your regular smooth line. But for a cuddly cat, you might want to use round, fluffy strokes. And for a cat with mid-length fur, you can use sharp, razor-like strokes. Or for a dog like a Westie with longer fur, use random curved strokes. And finally, for a dog like an Alsatian, with short coarse hair on top but longer fur around their neck, why not use a variety of strokes to really capture the right look? And that's it, we're done. We'd love to see your drawings of dogs, so why not send them into the Phoenix and they might appear inside the comic. Till next time. For more how to draw tutorials, make sure you like this video and then subscribe to our channel. You can also find even more drawing tips inside the pages of the Phoenix comic along with great stories and more. Click the link in the description below to find out how you can get the Phoenix delivered straight to your door every week.